A massive new development project right near Cherokee Park is now looking to get funding from Metro government. Tonight, residents are speaking out against it. Hello, everybody, and thank you for staying up a little late with us tonight. I'm Doug Prophet. We are talking here tonight about One Park Plaza. It's going to be built at Lexington Road and Grinstead Drive, approved for construction back in 2019. Top Metro Council members support creating a special taxing district to get the project built. And WHS 11 night team's Alex Cedar and photojournalist Elijah McKenzie covered the public hearing tonight. And Alex, uh, of all the people lined up to speak, you found there was a lot of pushback on this. That is exactly right, Doug. I mean, this has been years of debate for this certain project. The $155 million development project has now been approved, but tonight was the night for residents living around the area to voice their opinions on if their tax money should go to help out the development. And almost everyone who spoke tonight expressed more concern than support. It sits on a wedge of just seven acres at Lexington and Grinstead. The future plans, an 18-story tower with a 10-story tower where Jim Porter's Tavern once drew crowds. Along with it, restaurants, housing, and a grocery store in a packed room. Look at the tax base that that generates. <coughs> Did that come from Money. Over 30 people showed up to a public hearing about a special taxing district called a TIF. It would pump tax money back to the developers to help fund the project. We believe the developer should pay for his own project and get his own investors. If built according to the current plan, Jefferson Development Group, the Louisville-based developer, would be able to use $114 million in tax dollars over the next few decades. I supported the rezoning for the project when I was on Metro Council, but I think the developer should pay for it and not the taxpayers. 24 people took the podium to voice their opinions. All but three were against. The people who live around there don't want it, so please don't use our tax money to pay for something that we don't want around. The One Park Project will affirm our city's commitment to the future of urban development and help us remain competitive to attract and retain economic investment, talent, and visitors. People also address the developer's previous 2019 commitment to make 10% of the plaza affordable housing units, with a requirement of 7%. The developer could cut that in half if a million dollars is paid to Louisville's Affordable Housing Trust Fund. There's a million dollars to spend to not do something. Why do they need us to gamble $114 million on the chance that they might do something responsive? So starting at 7% before the buyout is unacceptable. The 10% requirement should be followed at a minimum to receive approval from Metro Council for the benefits of the local tip. Another common thread among concerned residents, increased transparency on the project's development, saying the neighbors have often been ignored. We need to be kept in the loop. We need to be, you know, we need to consider the people in the neighborhood um, not only, you know, from the government and our Metro Council representative, all the way down to little old me living on Payne Street. The bottom line at the meeting, keep their tax dollars out of the project. As far as next steps go, the Labor and Economic Development Committee is meeting tomorrow. If the committee makes a recommendation at tomorrow's meeting, the ordinance will need Metro Council approval before going into effect. The council meets next Thursday. Alex, thank you. The project has been in the works for several years. Developers first unveiled the plan in 2016. After scaling back the project following neighborhood concerns, the Metro Council approved the main portion of the project in 2019. One Park North, which will be built across Lexington Road, received the green light from the Metro Council earlier this year.